Cornwall, Connecticut, the abandoned village of Dudley Town. Yes, it's haunted. Let's get into it. I am the Reverend Victor S. Johnson, and I've been places you've only read about, and this is my sidekick, Dudley. Have you figured out what Dudley is named after yet? Connecticut itself has a long history, what with being one of the original 13 colonies of the young United States of America. The land known as Dark Entry Forest was first settled by the Mohawk tribe prior to it being turned into a farming community. There are a lot of old stories here. Ed Warren said the place was demonically possessed, and actor Dan Aykroyd call it one of the most scary places on earth, and we're going to go to it today. I'm going to ignore the old story about Edmund Dudley from England. I can't verify it, but this was a mapped farming community in the 1740s. It was settled by the Dudley family and another gentleman. Thomas Grips and Gideon Dudley set up the village. Gideon moved in with his family. The old rumor is that Gideon was a descendant of Edmund Dudley, who was beheaded by the King of England. This has either been debunked, or they can't find any record of it, and as such, I'm not going to entertain it today. Dudley Town sits on a hill, at least that's where it used to sit, and it was meant to be farmland. However, nothing ever grew there. It was a bad source of rainwater, although there is a river nearby. The forest, known as Dark Entry Forest, is very dark, and as such, only certain types of plants grow, including moss, and often animals cannot be heard making their noises, meaning birds, insects, and the like will often go quiet, thinking it is dark. You can see that here in my exploration video. 26 families reside in Dudley Town according to this by 1854. However, they say there is a curse on this land. Nathaniel Carter, who was away on business, came back to find that his family had been butchered by Native Americans. He went home to New York. Abiel Dudley ended up going insane and then contracted dementia. Gershon Hollister fell to his death while building a barn with William Tanner, 1792. Tanner then went insane later and claimed that a strange animal from the forest killed Hollister. Sarah Fay was struck by lightning on the porch of her home in 1804. Herman Swift, Revolutionary War General, went mad after finding out she was struck by lightning. Potential First Lady Mary Cheney got out of life in 1872. Her husband, nominee Horace Greeley, lost the election to Ulysses S. Grant. John Patrick Brophy lost his wife to consumption. Two of their children wandered off into Dark Entry Forest. They were never found. Brophy would soon wander off into the forest to join them. He was never found. Their house burned to the ground in a fire. No one knows the source. Dr. William Clark was one of the last residents. In 1900, he purchased property and built a house. In 1918, Clark went to New York City for a weekend for business. When he came back, his wife had gone mad, claiming there were strange creatures in the woods. Mrs. Clark got out of life. Mr. Clark ended up founding the Dark Entry Forest Association to preserve the land. From that time, Dudley Town has remained both abandoned, unbuildable, and a place where no one may trespass. When I went, I saw no, no trespassing sign. The following video I'm about to show you is from my journey into the most cursed town in America, Dudley Town.
After going the first time, I just had to go back. It felt incomplete. But I also had to dodge park rangers, the police, and the Dark Entry Neighborhood Association. The old rumors are true, it is very dark in the forest at all hours of the day. This has to be why nothing grew here, however, I was overcome with a feeling. And when I practice ghost hunting, I do take my own physical feelings into account. I felt like I was being pulled in half, like someone had me by my neck and was pulling my head, and someone else had me by my ankles and was pulling my feet. I felt stretched out, like I was 11 feet tall, but not in a good way. I got dizzy at the top of the hill, and I had to get out of there. I ran until I was at the back of the restaurant below. I have to say, Traveler, to me the rumors are true. Dudley Town truly is cursed. That'll do it. I am the Reverend Victor S. Johnson. This is my sidekick, Dudley. Now you know where Dudley's name comes from. Safe travels, Traveler.